I was sent a large box with Yu-Gi-Oh products inside. What's up guys, we're back with another epic collection video. Today I have a large box to the right of me. It's a little bit too large for the camera, so I'm gonna be keeping it over here, but first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, let me know your favorite product or card from this collection. All right, this came in one of those weird boxes where the, the flaps are like massive, so I'm pulling it out from over here. We have a Maximum Gold El Dorado mini box. That's a good start to this collection, so okay. We have that, it's a good start. I think I paid 1,500, or that's what I'm paying after I got it. A Ghost from the Past mini box. So okay, a couple mini boxes, that's nice to see. These both have very nice aesthetics to them. Uh, while they are not, uh, there's not a lot of packs in there. I think there's only like seven total packs in those two things, but they still look cool. Here we have, it looks like some actual cards, which is pretty nice let's see what is inside so here we go first edition defusion which is pretty cool cyber dragon from crv super rare love to see it harpy lady sisters we've got uh, some exodia pieces that's an original print exodia curse of dragon Celtic guardian regeki some more exodia ultimate rare dark magician the trihorn dragon Okay, more. Oh, there's the uh, the Gai Gaikento Megami, one of the most difficult cards to say. Monster Reborn, a Blade Knight. I mean, there's a lot of great stuff. Flame Swordsman, the Dark Magician from Korean, uh, from Korean. Korean set, okay. Buster Blader, right leg, Zira, left arm, Mirror Force, another Cyber Dragon. This is from the tin. You love to see it. I love that one. I still have the sealed tin myself. We have a LOB and uh left arm okay a oh, thousand eyes restrict elemental hero neo still the highest rarity unless you count the gold rare it's kind of weird how this is the highest rarity but it is slide for the sky dragon from kaiko okay i think that's the ultra rare version which yeah it looks pretty bad but hey it's uh it's a cool card okay we've got wing dragon raw is that also from kaiko it is it is also from kaiko magician we got the uh slide for the sky dragon from kaiko again this guy went crazy on the kaiko cards okay gold secret rare blue eyes by dragon i love the artwork i love the rarity i think it both looks really good then we get into a why is that in here that's a common first edition from metal raiders that's nice pot of greed hungry burger very nice the silver fang so we're getting into some comments oh a faded karibo that's beautiful cybersaurus polymerization trap hole a dark hole forbidden lance panther warrior gaia the fierce knight that looks like an original print paladin swords revealing light mystical elf mage power gear freed gaia the dragon champion that's not a misprint or anything it looks like a reprint man eater and mystical elf that's a pretty nice little set of cards right there this is pretty much a mystery collection he showed me some of the stuff i just didn't really look i was like yeah just send it over and i'll check it out so first edition battles of chaos okay very new set it's the newest set so there's a booster box very nice oh here we go here's a nice one burst of destiny first edition we can get that destroyer phoenix enforcer at this point about half a year old okay so nice to get that back into the collection i still have a sealed case of that one. Ooh, and we have the king's court so we know he got a a lot of those ultra rare god cards but here's another booster box i don't know if those are from the same case or not but still really cool we also have a grand creators booster box this set treated us pretty dirty but you know what we got redemption uh, later on all right that's not all we got a synchro storm so a lot of the most recent sets it seems like he kind of went ham he kept a lot of the most recent stuff which is always really nice to grab dawn of majesty that aluber the jester of despia or whatever he's called has gone way up so maybe if we open this up we'll pull that then we have the Lightning Overdrive First Edition. This does not have much inside. I think, I mean, what is the C or the Starlight? I think that's, uh, is that the one with Black Rose? I think that's it. And then the final booster box is an Ancient Guardians. What a way to end it. One of the worst sets that has been ever been printed, probably, but there's a booster box. And don't worry, that's not all. We have more singles inside this deck box. So last one was pretty good. Let's see if we can live up to that. So it looks like these aren't sleeved for the most part. So I'm guessing, no, we're not going to live up to that. Let's see. Uh, these are, what did this, what is that? from the secret forces not shining darkness okay so it looks like a lot of supers and stuff blaze cannon okay that's from uh the raw the raw wing dragon raw the legendary duelist rage of raw there we go black whirlwind ultra rare that's pretty nice the necros of gungnir we got the gladiator beast iceberg the mass hero acid magician of hope micro coder Okay, Master Acid. So a lot of Toon Chaos stuff here. So a lot of this is not going to be too valuable. This Pot of Desires maybe Boost Warrior is cool. Sardis Illumination. Invert po Invert. Invoked. Come on, don't hate on Alistair like that. Very nice. We've got the Attraction Horror House. Utopic Ray. I don't know if any of this stuff is worth anything. The War Rocks, probably not. Jinzo the Machine Menace. 
Yeah, so I think these are actually worth like a couple bucks. We'll pull that up there. Uh, maybe Mysterian, not really sure. The Guardian Slime, he's up there around a dollar. Arrive in Light, one of the worst secret rares. A DD Crow is worth money. Really, Ona? I don't really remember that one. Trap Tricks, Destined Rivals, which is cool. B Troopers. Okay, okay. All right, a lot of stuff, but okay. The Moftias were like three or four bucks on release. I don't know if they still are. Blaze Cannon, I think, might have had some value. True Named, I don't think did. This one was one of the worst Starlight rares, so I think it's bad as a secret. Uh, and anything else in here? Uh, this card I remember was really terrible. The Stellar Wolf, I think, is okay. Another Arrive in Light. So this is kind of the bad stuff. And there's an, um, another Moftia. Okay, not the worst. Then here's more. So this, this one got sleeved for some reason. All right. Some more Korean Hollows. Those are unsleeved. And then a, a le right leg, I should say. A right leg didn't get sleeved. A Trihorn. I always like the pattern on the Korean Seeker Rares. Those look nice. Blue Eyes Ultimate. Blue Eyes White Dragon from SKE Unlimited. Still not worth anything. This is another bad Secret Rare from whatever set this was. Was it um, Dawn of Majesty? Yeah. And then a couple Field Centers. So that one wasn't as good as the first one, but still had some decent stuff. Don't worry, that's not all. We have, oh, these are sealed. We have a sealed tin inside. Okay, that's pretty cool. We have another sealed tin. All right, in case we want to pull something from the 2021 tins, which we opened a lot of, so I don't think we're good for now. And then finally we have what appears to be an open tin. Oh, with graded cards. I kind of forgot this was in here. I didn't, actually don't even really remember that. He just kind of sent me a list. I didn't see this. Okay, so we have graded cards, which include uh, Toon Bookmark. Maybe that was the only one. PSA 9 Collector Rare. That's actually pretty sick. Okay. Inside here, we have Dark Paladin, Injection Fairy Lily First Edition. We have First Edition SDY. This one is kind of going crazy there. Chaos Creator, another Collector Rare. So these are like the big cards of the of the uh the opening not opening collection i guess yeah there we go here's a big one dark magician ghost rare that is beautiful so we're gonna have to get it out of that thing but that thing looks amazing okay what is this another sdy that's unlimited okay these are a little bit uh a little bit musty but they've got they're pretty well protected so it's all good these look like lost art promos edge m saber is that a new one alluring mirror split okay interesting so a lot of stuff there. Very nice. So overall, this is a pretty nice collection. It's not crazy valuable, but I think that since we're here, we're probably going to open these, these two things up, I think, because it is kind of a shorter video. I want to give you guys a little mini opening at the end. So let's start off with the maximum gold. Obviously, we want to pull... This is Eldorado, so this is number two. So we want to pull, like, uh, what was it? Blue eyes, dark, the, the red eyes, alternate art. That's what I want. We pulled it several times already, but you can never pull that card too much. It looks amazing. So let's uh, open this bad boy up, this maximum gold. Let's see if we can pull a red eyes black dragon out of our four packs. So pretty awesome collection. More newer stuff, but some cool old school stuff as well. So you love to see that. Here we go. First pack, maximum gold. Let's see what we can pull. We have the old Maziad. That <laughs> Let's just pretend like I didn't try. Rainbow Neos is a good card. Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. Big fan of that card from the Dino deck. We got a Zephraxi. And a Black Rose Dragon alternate art. Very cool, except it's got a little bit of a hair going on there. I don't know. The back corner is beautiful shape there not really okay so that's kind of unfortunate but don't you worry we have three packs to go and then we're gonna open some ghosts from the past and potentially pull a ghost rare which is probably not gonna happen we have a white dragon wyvern buster x code talker also numeron calling chamber dragon made i think this one had value originally i don't know about now and ghost mourner and moonlit chill another decent one with a code talker inverted to end it still two more packs of this a gold let's see what we can do can we pull something epic? We have the Weather Painter Thunder. Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. Those dinos, they love me, guys. They love me. The Zephraxi again. The Asa. The Book of Moon with its 100th print. And the Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Bane. Very nice. And the final gold pack before we hop into that ghost from the past. Let's see what we can do. We have the Weather Thundery Canvas. Psy Frame Driver. Predator Plant Verite, missing part of the name. That's still an epic pull. Predator Plant Verite Anaconda. That's kind of weird, though. Uh, prank Kids Meow Meow Mew. And Danger Bigfoot with an upstart goblin. That's actually a pretty decent small box, mini box, whatever it's called. From now on, these are called small boxes. We have a small box of ghosts from the past. Okay, I think there's only three packs in these, if I remember correctly. And speaking of Ghosts from the Past, guys, Ghosts from the Past 2 comes out May 6th. I thought it was late April. They then moved it back. So now it's May 6th. So keep an eye out for that. It's going to be insane. If you do want to pre-order some, check out Sassy Auto's link. Use my code Ruxin GFTP to get 5% off. Let's go. Five packs. 
Let's pull a ghost or a dark magician. <laughs> we already have one, and let's just pull one. Let's see what we can do. Mask change. Madolce fresh sis start. Gear town. Metaphors wall flame and. Starry Night Balefire. Very cool card, but uh, not too valuable. Two more packs in this video. Ghost from the past. Let me know what you guys think about this collection down below. Here we go. Can we pull something epic? We have the Hieratic Seal of Supremacy. Hieratic Dragon of Tefnuit. The Hieratic Sun Dragon Overlord of Helipolis. That's a lot of Hieratic Dragon. Sunvine Healer and... The Dragoonity Remus, which used to be the $20 card when it first came out. It is now like four bucks. Still, four bucks. We'll take that. And the final pack of Ghost from the Past. Will it contain a Ghost from the Past? Because it's been, I mean, this was a year ago. It's the past at this point. We have Time Thief Flyback. We have Heo Zanru. Cosmojo. Sunseed Genius Lucy. And, you know, next pack. Star Knight. Wait, what was that it? That was it. Oh. Uh, Okay, no ghost rare. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic videos. Shoutouts to CCG, Trusted Cards, Stonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Daxter, Ian Musa, Junior Bardic, Ananatai Show, J2 Show, and Animal of the Hollow. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.